Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A day or so ago, I posted a video where we had a look at some changes that Microsoft was testing in Edge Canary, which is a preview version of their browser, which could possibly roll out to an up and coming stable version in the future. Now, I'll leave a link to that video in the description if that would be of interest. But just another quick video to highlight a couple of new features and changes that Microsoft has recently once again uh, started to test in Edge Canary. And um, there are three new features we're going to just have a quick look at in this video and in no particular order. Uh, the first is if we head over to our apps page where we can manage our installed apps, our PWAs installed in the browser, our progressive web apps. There is a new discover more apps section on the apps page where Microsoft now gives us suggestions for progressive web apps, PWAs that we can install in the browser. Now, um, obviously you can X out, you can delete those different suggestions. You can obviously click on the install tab uh, to install the web app. And they say uh, apps from some of your favorite sites. Now, this is not a true representation of suggestions for me personally. And once again, Microsoft just pushing out uh, what they think are suggestions because I never visit Starbucks or browse for Starbucks and the same applies to Pinterest. So obviously, this is Microsoft's suggestions and not a true representation of actual sites that are deemed to be favorite sites. So um, new Discover More app section on the apps page. Now, the second new change that could possibly be rolling out is to do with extensions. And um, if we head to the extensions menu, and we click on the three dotted more actions uh, menu uh, actually for a particular extension. Yeah, we get a new view web permissions button in the extensions menu. And basically, this is a change that comes from the upstream Chromium. So um, that's because Edge is based on the open source Chromium platform. So I think this is just a Chromium change. But if you click on view web permissions, it's a handy shortcut that takes you directly to permissions for uh, that particular uh, extension which are buried quite deep in the settings so that's just a handy shortcut um, where you can now view web permissions for a particular extension now for the third uh, new feature for this video um, for this one we're just going to head over to a screenshot uh, that was uploaded recently uh, to reddit by um, leo over on reddit because it'll just make it a lot easier for the purpose of this last feature and if we head to this screenshot as many of you may know, Edge already generates a strong password in the browser. And uh, for whatever reason, if you don't want to use that and you want to manually enter a password, as we can see from the screenshot provided, Edge will now basically tell you the strength of the password you are adding manually. So yeah, we can see as you enter that password, it goes from weak, moderate, and then to strong. So at each interval, you can see... Uh, um, week it says and then as you generate that password it then says moderate and then we get to where it finally says strong so basically um edge will tell you the strength of the password you added manually just making um uh, adding passwords manually a little bit more security conscious when entering those new passwords with this new feature which is currently um being tested in edge canary and none of these features as i've shown you today are currently available in the stable version. Microsoft is testing these um, in the Edge Canary browser and could possibly one day roll out to an up-and-coming stable version. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.